Marsh and Mallow. Two Kiwis nesting their eggs together when an unknown calamity causes their world to literally shatter and their eggs to become scattered throughout the land. It is up to you to manipulate gravity in order to help Marsh and Mallow rescue their eggs, avoid the creatures that wish them harm, and race to the next area. Created by John Kane, aka Gripfish, and boasting over 100 levels, this is Mallow Drops. And this is a hyper review, and I am. Tiger. The story of Mallow Drops is told through a simple yet effective comic that plays before you start the first level. The artwork style in this is adorable, and the use of iconography instead of actual dialogue adds to this whimsical presentation style. Although the story itself is quite basic, your birds and your world explode and oh no, your eggs! This is enough to provide a basic motivation and reasoning behind why you're solving the puzzles presented to you. Given that the world would have, from a technical perspective, worked just as well if you were simply manipulating a bunch of floaty boxes that were beholden to strange gravitation rules, the addition of a story element really shows that Gritfish actually put a lot of thought into this work. The core mechanics of the game are quite simple. You're presented with a pocket-sized chunk of world filled with static obstacles like walls, obstacles that obey the laws of gravity like boxes, and enemies that each have their own unique behaviours. Use the WASD keys to rotate the world, which in turn changes the direction that gravity is acting, and the arrow keys to navigate either marsh or mallow through the maze. The trick behind this is manipulating the gravity in such a way that you can use the movable objects and the static objects to reach your goal, the eggs, all while avoiding the deadly obstacles such as the adorably named woolly jumpers and dirty underbears. This gameplay is super easy to get the hang of, which means that a player can jump right into the game without needing to sit through a lengthy tutorial, but the puzzles provide a level of challenge that is sure to please all fans of physics puzzle games. I found myself at numerous points in time backtracing paths along my monitor with my fingers, trying to determine how to get that elusive third egg to unlock the exit portal. Matching the rest of the game, the user interface is quite simple, which is generally excellent. However, if I do have a criticism, it might be that in some areas it could be somewhat too simple. I say this with a great deal of understanding, however, as the game is being developed to provide a consistent experience across both the current PC version as well as the upcoming mobile version. From this perspective, the interface is actually quite clean. One definite criticism, though, is that the audio was somewhat glitchy. During the gameplay, it seemed to occasionally play multiple tracks simultaneously, and then in some levels it would play no music at all. Still, this is a game that has been out for a week now, and teething problems are to be expected. Mellow Drops has, quite pleasingly, great attention to detail when it comes to accessibility. The menu system can be driven by either keyboard or mouse, and although I don't personally own a Steam-compatible controller, I have seen the game itself being played with the controller attached during PAX Oz. Unfortunately, there's no control customization in the game, so if the arrow keys on your keyboard happen to be non-functional, you might have troubles playing on a PC. Gritfish has, however, taken other accessibility concerns into consideration, as visual elements such as the screen shake effect can be toggled, and the speed at which the playfield rotates has numerous speed settings which can help those who may suffer motion sickness, especially as if you're going for a high score, you'll be rotating the screen quite a bit in a very short period of time. One accessibility option that I would think this game could benefit from is a colorblind mode, especially as the color palette involves a large number of pastel blues greens, and purples. However, other than this one oversight and the inability to customise your controls, I really think that Maladrops tries to be inclusive of all gamers. And now, the ADHD factor. The little extra bit of a review where I indulge myself and all of the other ADHD gamers out there, because gaming is something that is almost universally important to people who are attention deficit. The fact that the levels in Mallow Drops start out with incredibly quick solve times, as short as one minute for the first levels, if you're really good, means that the feedback and rewards in the game are provided at a pace that is going to keep you motivated. Gamers aren't punished for making impulsive decisions or accidentally pressing one of the directional controls. Each time the player makes contact with a non-lethal obstacle, a checkpoint is activated, so if they screw up and die, either by running into an enemy or flying off the stage, they get to keep any eggs that they've collected before that point. 
The leaderboards also provide an incentive to come back and play the game again and again and again. I've already spent so much time trying to beat my boyfriend's times so that I can rub his face in it all over Twitter because I'm nothing if not completely humble. Overall, Mallow Drops is great. I've not played a game with this particular combination of mechanics before, and it's wonderful to see Australian indie devs creating unique puzzle experiences. But even though this game is heaps of fun on PC, I can't wait to get my grubby, sticky little paws on the mobile version, which is coming next year. This is definitely going to become one of my public transportation favourites, and if you enjoy puzzle games with simple mechanics but some mind-bending stages to solve, then you are going to love Mallow Drops as much as I do. It's available right now on Steam for 10 US dollars, and you can get the totally adorable soundtrack bundled with it too for a special bargain price. Have you played Mallow Drops? What did you think of it? Have you seen me on the leaderboards? Have you beaten me? Let me know in the comments, because I've got a reputation to uphold, you know.